Good evening, Tightliners, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I am shouting a little bit tonight because it's very windy, and for some strange reason, when I plug my audio stuff in, it's doing some strange stuff. Anyway, Kay and I are down on the beach tonight, here in our local. The last session we did together, we had uh, one specific flatfish on our mind, and that was place. And tonight, we have another flatfish on our mind which is turbot. Now, I've had them here before, all on ragworm, but we all know that uh, the turbot likes fish baits, so I'm going to be banging out some fish baits as well. Obviously, if I catch bass, I'm not worried about that at all. If I catch coolies, I'm not worried about that. But if we can catch a turbot tonight, that'll be a big bonus and another one ticked off the species list. If I catch a turbot tonight, I'll jump in. <laughs> he won't. I will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. I saw a rupert. I'll tell you what I got. I've already put in two up and overs with ragworm. And I've got a three hook scratcher to put in as well. Where I'm going to put bits of, uh, bits of sand deal and bits of uh, barely mackerel. See if we can get that turbot. I saw a rupert. I can do Right guys, so uh, first fish I put out there on the three hook scratcher with the uh, mackerel bait and uh, yeah, a ting. Not exactly what I was looking for. Um, not a bad size one, not a giant anyway either, but uh, on mackerel strip looking for the turbo and there's a waiting. Hell of a rattle, I thought here we go. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so at least it's a blank saver. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens in the next one. Not much a dick. Right, guys. Just that one bite and one fish so far. I'm going to carry on fishing with the uh, mackerel strip and the uh, ragworm on the others. There's a nice little lump on, so there's no reason why there shouldn't be a bar of silver in there tonight. Hey, no. Things have not gone brilliantly though, guys. Two rigs lost. Just parted on me for no reason at all. So it was a quick change of reels. Two reels has happened on. on two different rods. I know the eyes are good, I've checked them. I must have been damaged after all that weed in the last session. The line must have got some kinks and... Anyway, I'm fishing again now, three rods. I got loop rigs on two of them. One of the loop rigs has got a uh, 2 0 panel on the bottom and just a straight hook on the top. Oh, that was a bait. That was either a bait or a load of weed. This one's got a plain lead on it. Only small hooks on this one. Or no Aberdeens. On the three hook scratching rig, I've got size two Aberdeens. And now waiting, I've taken that right inside, but it unhooked nicely. The 
up in there, just check the feet. Right guys, let's get this one baited up again. He's got his head back out. Normal cutting. Right guys, so second fish of the evening. Again, another waiting on the mackerel strip again. Okay. Not meant for you. Right, I think I'm going to have to go up the top tonight. Um, the reason is, I haven't got my waders on. Uh, we thought we were going to go somewhere else and then we came here and my waders have just had to repair job as well. So the glue wasn't dry. Anyway, these waiting, they never go back very well. So, there's another one for the cat. Right, let's just hope there's something a bit more exciting than waiting in here tonight. No more kidding. Right guys, third fish of the session. Um, and it's one that we normally see here quite often, but bigger than that, a little coley. Bit of a rattle, but not much. Let's get this one back. Right, time to go up the top. Oh, you can dolp in the, in the top now. Back when you see you up the top. Right, guys. So, last cast on this rod here, and uh, a double shot of waiting. To be honest with you, I didn't even know they were there. I didn't see the bite on that one this time. All the other fish I've seen, I had. Yeah, I've seen. All the other fish I've had tonight, I've seen the bites on them. I'm going to do a... Right, right. I'm going to do a slow pack down now and uh, get off myself. Waiting in April, guys. They were on the old mackerel strips. Anyway, Kay, I'll see you soon, mate. Yeah. Down. See you later, guys. <laughs> right, guys, this is the last cast now. I want to do this. I might just hold this this time. Just see if we can feel any bites. It's been rough, not been easy. Winkled out a few fish. Nothing exciting. Is there something exciting on this last cast? Guys, thank you for staying with me. It's not been uh, very exciting on this. So what I've got out there at the moment is an up and over with a big quad of uh, ragworm on there. This is last chance now. Surprised that there's no bass in here tonight, to be honest with you. Conditions are absolutely perfect, or what you'd think they would be.
we've been down here in November, December when it's been minus conditions and we've been catching oh, loads of bass. I don't know where they've gone. From this beach at least. Coolies as well, or the bigger ones seem to have disappeared. And I'm getting very tired of these storms. Seems to be one storm after another. It's about time we start getting some proper spring like weather. I will be bringing you a review of the Universal match before long. I'm starting to get used to it now. I had that lovely bass in the last session on it, 4.10. It's a shame though I didn't get the full fight of that fish because of all the weed that was on the line as well. This is quite hard. Don't forget guys, you'd be helping me out massively if you press the like button and subscribe. I was looking at the stats on the YouTube uh, the other day. And something like 60% now are non subscribers who are viewing. If you can, guys, those of you guys who have unsubscribed already, please do so. It won't cost you anything. Hit the bell as well so you get future notifications of when the videos are up. I would truly appreciate it. More of you that subscribe, the more that will likely uh, watch. Had to come out tonight, guys. The first week of school after the Easter holidays, and you just forget how much noise they make. negative though guys some of them are really nice some of them really put a lot of effort into what they do and it's really nice to see them getting the rewards that they deserve i only want one reward now just a nice bag of silver to finish off the evening or morning now as it is yeah five past one now Gotta be one in there, and if there is, the size of the bait I've got on there now has got to be appetizing to it. One thing about this uh, universal match, you can hold it here now, holding it one hand there now, and it's not heavy. I reckon this could be a perfect match, a perfect uh, match for the swillies to fish for the cotling in there, where you have to hold it. Uh, 
Thanks. I saw sort of both of both. Right, that's me done. End of the session. Uh, that one didn't produce anything. Came back fairly stripped though. I was holding it all the time and I didn't feel no bites. So, yeah. Right, tonight, or oh, it was Friday into Saturday morning. Let's see what happens the rest of the weekend. I'll try and get out again. Um, hopefully, this time to try and get a ray. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you can. And until next time, keep your lines tight.